bottom. One on, two on, bottom half of the second. McDonald bunts it left side, charging in as Davis. Davis, bare hands, can't make a play. Emerson turns second, he's on his way to third, and Emerson dives in safe, and the wing attack first and third and two men down. David Amerson just went first to third on a bunt. Hunter goes high and inside, throw to second base by Paramore, and it goes into center field. Amerson will score, and McDonald is safe at second base. It's now two to one here on the bottom half of the second inning, a double steal of six games played. An open stance, and the pitch, swing and a miss, he got him on a curveball. And the inning is over. James Gilletti with his second strikeout. No run. Last of the fourth inning, a run is home to tie the game. Here's the 1-1 pitch. Breaking ball, grounded left side. Pass to diving. Davis, base hit through to left field. Nieves scores. Here comes David Amberson. Throw to the plate, not in time. Amberson slides in safe. And the wing nuts lead 4-2 in the bottom half of the fourth inning. Jake on a hot streak. The 3-2 pitch, swing and a miss, he got him. Good change up on three and two, and that gets P.D. Paramore one away in the top half of the sixth. In your professional baseball, Holtzcomb delivers, check swing, and he went around for strike three, a curveball off the outside part of the plate. So Holtzcomb with a strikeout, one down here, crowds the plate. Walters off the stretch, slider on the outside corner, strike three, call in the inning is over. Nick Walters freezes Anthony Davis to an open stance from the left side. Armstrong setting up in. 2-2 pitch. Line drive caught by Bannon at first, and the ball game is over. Johnny Bannon catches a line drive, rocking it towards first to end it. And Andrew Azenstadt wraps up an incredible regular season for the Wichita Wingnuts. They beat the Kansas City T-Bones by a final score of 5-4, sweeping the three-game series. They set an American Association record for winning percentage. They go 68 and 32 here in 2013. And the Alpha and Omega of the Wingnuts regular season ends where they win against their in-state rivals. The Today, congratulations. Thank you, Shoes. Good way to finish things off for the season. It's been a special year so far, but now we got to finish it. You know, a lot of this stuff doesn't even matter unless we, unless we come through and finish things off at the end of the season. So, been a lot of fun. Fun group again, a lot of individual accomplishments along with team accomplishments, a bunch of records set. But like I said, we need to we need to finish things off here. I, I know how hard Hosey works. Uh, congrats to him and the hitters. You guys lead the league in hitting. And, of course, Luke, you guys set the league ERA record tonight. Yeah, I know I talk about it all the time. I'm obviously, I get a lot of the credit for things that happen. But without Hosey and Luke, you know, they're, they're a big part of this whole deal along with me. So uh, they both of them do a tremendous job of what they do. Like you said, we won the batting batting title as a team and individually. Congrats to uh, Abby on that. And then, like you said, breaking the league record for ERA is awful impressive. And Luke gets a lot of credit for that also. And you guys sweep the, the triple crown individually, uh, Abby, with the, the batting average and C.J. home runs and RBI. Yeah, that's pretty neat. So to have four batting champions out of the six years in existence is pretty pretty special. That's saying something right there. So you know, welcome, Abby, to the club. But uh, it's been a lot of fun, like I said. And then... For Z, the, the year he had the 30 home runs and 99 RBIs came on short of the triple digits, but what a year he had also. And, uh, another great start from James there, a 4-0 and four starts for you guys. Yeah, he's been a great addition for us, you know, and we're going to we're gonna give Clip the ball in game four if we do get there. I like adding James to the bullpen because it, it gives us another lefty down there. Just having one and Walt, you know, there's a lot of times I'd like to have two down there to get through some other lefties another time through the order. So that would be a great addition for us to have down in the pen and then, you know, we'll go from there, like I said. But he'll be a, a added addition down there, a nice luxury for me to have, to have the two lefties down there whenever he's able to bounce back and be ready to go down there in the pen. Yeah, exciting times here, obviously. Uh, how much are you looking forward to Wednesday? I'm really looking forward to it. You know what, I'm really relaxed right now. I think that we're, we're ready to rock. We're confident. I think we're on a mission. We've, we've got one thing in mind right now. We've made the playoffs. That's the ultimate goal because you can't win a championship unless you make the playoffs. But we've got the, uh, the end in sight, like I said, and, and now we've gone to bigger and better things. Starts a new season. Wednesday night starts a whole new season. Whatever we did in the regular season matters none come Wednesday night. What's the game tonight? Let me just get rolling. You know, we've got to get this rolling into playoffs. I mean, last year we did real well rolling the end of the season.
last year. So hopefully we can do the same thing Grand Prairie. Now, big game for you there, four for four. You get the game winning hit there, not trying to do too much with the bases loaded. No, I, it's kind of easy towards the end of the season if people stop caring, you know, and the catcher is like, you know, we're trying to get this guy to throw strikes. So, I mean, that's a little edge right there. So, just sat fastball, got a good pitch to hit, and uh, got in the air. <laughs> And uh, how about the job? Uh, the young starter, you brought in James Gilletti, a 4-0 now in four starts. I, I like the kid. I mean, he, he throws strikes. He has a lot of different pitches. He mixes them up well. I mean, that's all we can ask for is throw strikes. And we like that. Especially as defense. It's always nice guy coming in throwing strikes because it gives him more opportunities to make plays. And congrats to you and the, the offense. Uh, you guys lead the league in hitting this season. I didn't know that. All right. I mean, Pop. Pop uh, works really hard just letting us much do our thing, you know, not changing us too much. And then we feed off each other. I mean, you got J-Rod and CJ. And, yeah, I mean, everybody. I mean, we feed off of a bell. Look at a bell. Bell did this year. No, congrats to him. You know, we, we feed off each other like a family, and that's what we need to keep going all the way to the end. Well, tremendous regular season for you guys, and uh, how excited are you going into Wednesday now? Well, I'm, I'm pumped. I mean, we've been waiting for this day since we clinched. You know, we wish we could just skip the whole season, you know, and just get right into playoffs because you're just you're ready to go. So, I mean, we're excited to leave tomorrow, get a good workout in, and then, uh, you know, get to work. All right, anybody home you want to say hi to? Uh, just my family, my friends back home. I guess I'll see you guys in, like, hopefully, like, a month. And then, uh, of course, uh, uh, my super fan in North Carolina, Mason, his family. Appreciate you guys coming to see me.